I hit hard, bars, you can't tell me nothing Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster Your main bitch wanna pull me closer What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl, Mo And today, I'm coming to y'all with a tutorial on how to make a thumbnail Now, everything y'all see on the screen is what we gonna be using Everything next to the YouTube Studio app Which is gonna be the Eraser app, Pixart, and Fonto those are what we're going to use okay so first and foremost i'm going to slide to my photos app to get my thumbnail this is my thumbnail all i did to get this thumbnail is went in my video i paused it uh i paused it i zoomed through it oops let me see i paused it right then I zoomed through it to find a thumbnail, screenshotted it, and that's what I ended up with, right? So after I found the picture that I want to make my thumbnail, I'm sorry, y'all, cars riding past, it, they, it always got to get noisy when I'm trying to do a video. But after I found the thumbnail, what I'm going to do is edit this picture so that the black Part of the picture is not there. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit edit up here in the corner. After I hit edit, I'm going to go down where those three little things at, at the very bottom of the screen between cancel and done. I'm going to hit the square with the arrows. After I hit that square, I'm going to resize this picture. All you do is drag that down to about right there. And then I'm going to drag this up till about right there okay and I end up with just a picture I'm gonna hit done down in the right hand corner so I got my picture right after I do that I'm gonna go back to my home screen swipe over to the eraser app tap on that app I'm gonna insert that picture which is right got the picture right I'm gonna click on erase at the bottom it's going to take me into the studio. Now you can either do one or two things. You can do target area. Make the threshold the size you want. All that does is when you click on it, it erases a certain part of the picture, right? You see that? Well, I'm going to press the arrow here at the top to bring that back. You see that? I can do that. Bring it back. Go back. Bring it back. Period. Or I'm going to click on erase right here in the left-hand corner. Y'all is really commenting on videos a lot. I could change the width of that eraser. I'm going to do it at about 35. Now to zoom in and get, get a good outline of this picture, I'm going to pinch the screen and zoom in. Right? And I'm just going to go and I'm going to erase what I don't need, which is all of this background. Right, I'm gonna zoom in pretty far and go over my hair a little bit, erase all of that. I'm probably gonna speed this part up for y'all so you ain't gotta sit here and watch me erase. I'm trying to do it kind of quick though. Notice when I zoom out the eraser tool get bigger. You can always zoom in to get the detail like this here. All I'm doing to zoom in is out is pitching the screen. It's real simple, y'all. Just don't get all of that. Erase all of that. Get that little part, get that little part. Now it takes time to, you know what I'm saying, be able to do this real fast as I'm doing it. I've been doing it for two years, y'all, so I'm kind of good at it or whatever.
Now let's say you mess up. Oops. Press the arrow. It's going to bring you back to the last uh, little bit that you did. right so after we do that we just want to go over and make sure we don't get no, we don't leave no speckles just slightly go where you erase that so I don't leave no spots right all I'm doing all I'm doing is dragging this with my finger and we're gonna hit done and it shows us the end result so now all I got is just me and Mac so I'm gonna press this arrow in the upper right hand corner it shows me exactly what we got. We're going to hit save, the green button right here. It's going to ask me, do I want to save it? Yes, okay. So now we're going to go back home. I'm sorry about all the noise again. I'm sitting in the garage. Everything wants to ride past right now. After we erase that photo and save it to our camera roll, we're going to go to PixArt. Let that load up. We're going to choose that photo that we just erased in the eraser app. And we're going to put an outline on it. All we do is swipe over to brushes. Now, I want to outline this lime green since I got on line, a lime green headband, right? We're going to let that lime green stand out. We're going to click on the uh, pencil that's highlighted blue. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger because I like my outlines a little bigger. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in by pinching. Same thing we did on the um, eraser app. And we're just going to go. If you mess up, press the arrow at the top. Or we can put it back. Arrow at the top. All right. We're going to zoom in. We zoomed in here. And we're going to take our finger and just outline the picture. It's real simple. Just outline the picture. Let's say you mess up. Oops. Hit that arrow. Or we can put it back. Or we can hit hit that arrow, right? So we just... Oops, I messed up again. Hit that arrow. Zoom in. And all I'm doing is sliding. Um, pinching and sliding. And it take a moment. It take a minute to, you know, get this part down back. Y'all see right here, I left some stuff, but that's all right. It's all good. Just going to outline the picture. You zoom, pinch and zoom. Oops, arrow. Pinch and zoom. Just outlining the whole picture, right? Oops, arrow. See, players fuck up. Real simple. Just outlining. All right, and you hit apply. Now we got a green outline on it. We're gonna hit next in the right hand corner and we're gonna hit save at the bottom, download photo, and it's saved to my photos, right? All right, now, now this is the part where it gets a little bit difficult. If you, you know what I'm saying? So pay attention. The next app we're gonna use is the Fonto. We're gonna go into the Fonto app. We're gonna click the camera at, at the bottom we're going to do a plain image. We're going to hit the white one because I want my background to be right. Now you can change the color of this to any color you want. You can make it black. You can make it red. You can scroll over and make it pink. You can even add a color green and pink. 
you can even add another color orange you could you could do whatever you want to but i don't want to do all that so i'm gonna hit back i want it white now at the top you see where it says 2040 times 2040 this is not the size of a youtube thumbnail so we have to make it the size of a youtube thumbnail how do we do that we click on the 2048 we click custom and we change that size to 1280 1280 by 720 those are the mat uh those are the measurements for a youtube thumbnail we hit done and it's going to give us a thumbnail that size we click the arrow in the box in the upper right hand corner and it's going to ask us do you want to use save or use and save i do use and save just in case i mess up and got to go back now you're going to click the three lines at the bottom left hand corner you're going to add an image right the picture we did and uh we erased the background we put a green um outline around it and now we're going to use it so click done and there we go we're going to click on it tap on it resize us you can either press the arrow or you could use these i'm going to use these and you can you know put it where you want to put it at i'm going to put it right there now you want to add some words right so i'm going to tap on it add text i'm going to do story do all caps story time right and you can click font change the font let's see what i want to make the font my star fonts uh, they're not in there for some reason I don't know um, there's so many to choose from y'all sometimes this this takes me a long time because I don't know what you know what I'm saying what what feel I want to do what look I want that thumbnail to have but you can go through these thumbnails and you can basically just pick whichever one you want your stuff to be but I want to do maybe like a this one okay I want to do that one right and I'm gonna click done so you see it's in it's white and it's big I can resize it make it a different size like that and then I can tap on it and I can do style um, I can make the text black I can make it red, I can make it gray, I can make it whatever color. But for the text, I want it to be black, right? And then um, I want it to have some style. I want to put a black backdrop on it. And then I can go back to color and I can do a stroke. For the stroke, I want it to be that green color I got. But to get that green color, I got to work with it a little bit. You see that? Move these around to find the right color. That should do it. Now I can do the width, make it thicker or skinnier. I'm gonna make it about that right there. Click done and look. That's exactly how it looks. Story time. Right? Um, and you can move this wherever you want it. You can put it down here. I think I'm gonna put it like right here. Right? And then I'm gonna make another one because you know I wanna put the actual title. So I'm gonna do R make it all claps our first time and we're gonna put let's see we're gonna put a wet emoji I'm gonna change the font because I don't want it the same one I'm gonna want my thumbnail to have some style you feel me we're gonna do that one I'm gonna hit done and that's how it comes out now i want to switch it up a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on style for the text i want the text to be let me see i want the text to be lime green so we're going to change it till we get that color we want and then i want the stroke to be black I want it a little thicker. 
And you know what? I also wanna. I also wanna do that, but I'ma do like a, 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 a make it an extra. There we go. Make it pop, right? Like that. I don't want it too strong. And then, and all I did was tap these A's at the bottom to get different. You know what I'm saying? How I want it. Now I'ma click done. But then as I'm looking at this, you know what I'm saying? I, I want a different font. So I'm going to click font. I don't like that font. We're going to scroll, find a font. Simple, right? Let's see what that one looks like. I like that one. So we're going to click it, make it the size we want it so it'll fit in the white, which is our thumbnail size right don't readjust me and Mac so we you know we fit in the thing right and hmm, let's say I want to add like some books or something because it is a story time so I can click on that add text I can go just do the emoji books or I can go find like on the internet a PNG photo of some books but I'm just gonna use the emoji this time the stack of books right and we could throw that right there just like anything else we can go into the style we can put a style on it maybe a, a highlight of it make it pop you know what I'm saying do it like that but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that one okay and then we're going to make it a little bigger by clicking on the size and zooming that up. And we can put it right there, right? And we can even make it a little bigger. How about that? Not too big. That's too big. I'll we'll make it a little smaller. Bam. I'm gonna put it behind the words. Just tap something to make it come to the front, right? All right. So that's pretty much how you do a thumbnail, y'all. Um, you you could use various things if you need, like maybe like a logo of a restaurant. You would go on Google. I can show y'all that real quick, but there is no logo to really put on this because it's just a story time thumbnail. Um. But I can show y'all real quick. You would hit home. You would basically go to your internet. You would go to Google. If I wanted a Popeyes, uh oh. If I wanted a Popeyes logo PNG, obviously I've searched that before. Click on images. Um, I can go grab one that's already PNG, which this one doesn't look it. What about this one? No. This one doesn't either. But you remember you can always go on the eraser app, use that um that back that background eraser tool to erase like the background. Let's say we use this one, right? We would click on it, add the photos, go out. We can go back to the eraser app. That's when I did me and Mac. We're gonna pick a new photo. So we're gonna pick the Popeyes and then we can use we could we're here to erase, target area, boom, erase all the white. Boom, erase the um erase the white in the inside of the Popeyes. Cause you're just doing the target areas. Anything that color is gonna disappear. Just so it look right. Now you just got the Popeyes done. The arrow, save, yes, okay. You would go back to your thumbnail, press the three lines at the bottom, add image, have the Popeyes, and that would be the Popeyes logo. Resize it, make it big, put it wherever you want to put it. But for this one, we don't need that, so we're just going to get rid of it. Okay, this is the exact thumbnail I just made 
for the video I just uploaded previous to this one. This is the exact thumbnail I'm going to use. So, what I'm going to do is save it. Um, save image. Okay, successfully save. Successfully save. Scroll back into my photos. And there it is, y'all, for me to upload with my video. Turned out pretty good, right? And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a thumbnail. I know y'all been waiting on this video for a while, probably like a week now. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. Um, I, I kind of enjoy doing this video. It's crazy because I'm just screen recording and actually doing what I needed to do anyway. So it was kind of convenient. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Remember the three apps to use are the Eraser app, Pixart, and Fonto. These are those apps right here on the screen next to YouTube Studio. All right. And if y'all have any other questions or y'all want me to send y'all this screen record personally, I'll just save it. Just hit me up on Snap and I'll send it to you directly or you can watch the video. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. That's how you make a thumbnail, y'all. And Mo Mafia, we about to get lit because we the shit. And I'm out.